In this video, we will discuss top technical interview questions which are commonly asked to the computer engineers in their on-campus and off-campus interview. This is the second part of the video. Kindly watch first part as well. So the very first question, what are the three stages of building the model in machine learning? The answer is there are three stages that is model building, applying the model and model testing. So in model building, it chooses a suitable algorithm for the model and trains it according to the requirement of the problem. In applying the model, it is responsible for checking the accuracy of the model through the test data. Then model testing, it performs the required changes after testing and apply the final model. So these are three important stages in machine learning. Next question, what according to you is the standard approach to supervised learning? The answer is, in supervised learning, the standard approach is to split the set of example into training set and test set. So whatever data set you are getting, you will split it into training set and test set. Generally, we apply 70-30 ratio. So 70% data is used for training set, whereas 30% data is used for testing set. Next question, describe training set and testing set. So the answer is, in various areas of information of machine learning, a set of data is used to discover the potentially predictive relationship, which is known as training set. The training set is an example that is given to the learner. Beside the test set is used to test the accuracy of the hypothesis generated by the learner. It is a set of instances held back from the learner. So this is the difference in between training and testing data set. Now, what are the common ways to handle missing data in a data set? This is also a very important question. So the missing data is one of the standard factor while working with the data and handling. It is considered as one of the greatest challenge faced by the data analyst. There are many ways one can impute the missing values. Some of the common method to handle the missing data in the data set can be defined as deleting the rows, replacing with mean, median, mode, predicting the missing values, assigning a unique category, using algorithm that support missing values. So these are the common methods to handle missing values. Next question, what are the necessary steps involved in machine learning project? So there are several essential steps we must follow to achieve good working model while doing a machine learning project. Those steps may include parameter tuning, data preparation, data collection, training the model, model evaluation, and prediction. Next question, describe precision and recall. This is also very important. So precision can be said as positive predict predictive value. It is a fraction of relevant instances among the received instances. On the other side, recall is the fraction of relevant instances that have been retrieved over the total amount or relevant instances. The recall is also known as sensitivity. So with this, you can understand what is precision and recall. So precision equal to true positive upon actual result or true positive upon true positive plus false positive. Whereas recall, recall is known as true positive upon predicted result. That is nothing but true positive upon true positive plus false negative. And the accuracy that is true positive plus true negative divided by total. What do you understand by decision tree in machine learning? Answer is decision tree can be defined as supervised machine learning where the data is continuously split according to certain parameter. It builds classification or regression model as similar as the tree structure with the data set broken up into ever smaller substrate while developing the decision tree. The tree can be defined by two entities namely decision nodes and leaves. The leaves are the decisions or the outcomes and the decision nodes are where the data is split. Decision tree can manage both categorical as well as numerical data. Next question, what are the function of supervised learning? The answer is classification, speech recognition, regression, predict time series 
annotate string so these are nothing but your functions of supervised learning so regression and classification you can understand with this so what will be the tomorrow's temperature that can be determined with regression model will it be hot or cold tomorrow so this can be classified with with uh, help of your classification model now with respect to time what is your time rate that can be studied with time series analysis so these are the function of supervised learning next question what are the function of unsupervised learning the answer is finding the cluster of data finding low dimensional representation of data finding interesting directions in data finding novel observations finding interaction coordinates and correlation next question describe the classifier in machine learning this is also very important a classifier is a case of a hypothesis or a discrete value function which is used to assign class label to particular data points it is a system that inputs a vector of discrete or continuous feature values and outputs a single discrete value the class so suppose we are giving the classifier the various email and the classifier is used to segregate the email whether it is spam or not so that is nothing but your classifier next question what is svm in machine learning so the answer is svm stands for support vector machine svm are supervised learning model with an association learning algorithm which analyzes the data used for classification and regression analysis now what is the difference between linked list and array so an array is a group of element of a similar data type now linked list linked list is an order group of element of the same type which are connected using pointer array elements are stored consequently in the memory linked list new element can be stored anywhere in the memory array an array supports random access linked list support sequential access then memory is allocated at compile time as soon as the array is declared it is known as static memory allocation linked list memory is allocated at run time whenever a new node is added it is known as dynamic memory allocation then array insertion and deletion operation takes place take more time in the array as the memory location are consecutive and fixed linked list in case of linked linked list a new element is stored at first free available memory location thus insertion and deletion operation are fast in the linked list then size of the array must be declared at the time of array declaration size of the linked list is variable it grows at run time wherever nodes are added to it so this is the difference in between linked list and array next question what do you understand by confusion matrix so confusion matrix always create confusion so this is very important the answer is a confusion matrix is a table which is used for summarizing the performance of a classification algorithm it is also known as error matrix so this is your confusion matrix now here you can see tn that is nothing but true negative tp true positive fn false negative fp false positive so this is an example of your confusion matrix this is also known as error matrix now explain true positive true negative false positive false negative in a confusion matrix with the example so in this question we have seen uh, the confusion matrix and various elements like tn tp fn fp now in this question i am explaining what is what is the tn tp fn fp so the first parameter that is true positive so when the model correctly predicts the positive class it is said to be true positive the example is umpire gives a batsman not out when he is not out that means umpire correctly identified that the batsman is not out this is known as true positive then true negative when the model correctly predicts the negative class it is said to be true negative example is umpire gives the batsman out 
and he is also out. Okay, so umpire gives the batsman out when he is out. That is known as true negative. Then false positive. When the model incorrectly predicts the positive class, it is said to be false positive. It is also known as type one error. So umpire gives the batsman not out when he is out. That is known as false positive. Then false negative. When the model incorrectly predicts the negative class, it is said to be false negative. It is also called as type two error. So umpire gives the batsman out when he is not out. That is known as false negative. Next question. What according to you is more important between model accuracy and model performance? So the answer is model accuracy is a subset of model performance. The accuracy of the model is directly proportional to the performance of the model. Thus, better the performance of the model, more accurate are the prediction. Next question: What is bagging and boosting? The answer is bagging is a process in ensemble learning. Which is used for improving unstable estimation or classification scheme. Boosting. Boosting methods are used sequentially to reduce the bias of the combined model. So these are 15 important questions which can be commonly asked in the technical interview uh, to the computer engineers in their on-campus or off-campus. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.